Hi, my name is Deborah Hicks, and we are at the Awam Garden of 1000 Buddhas in Arli, Montana. Well, our reincarnated master Lama Tukusangak Rinpoche from Tibet was, uh, as a young man, was drawn to America and many signs led him to come. He was driving up this highway with a student of his. He saw this land and was immediately captivated by it and said, I've been here before. His original concept was to bring a Tibetan Buddhist monument, very similar to what you would see in Nepal or India or Tibet, to the United States. It's dedicated as an international peace center. And so while it is Tibetan in its construction and sim symbolism, it's uh, open to all faiths to come. And when you're here, you can certainly feel that it's peaceful and it makes you feel calm. The design of the Garden of a Thousand Buddhas came from Tulkusangak Rinpoche's idea, but it's also a significant symbol in Buddhism in general. You'll see the Dharma wheel associated with Buddhism in many places. Uh, Tulkusangak Rinpoche, our teacher, began casting the first Buddha statues himself with his family and a very humble group of volunteers. Uh, they're made with white Portland cement and silica sand, and inside each one are precious objects, all kinds kinds of water from all the great seas and earth from all the continents as well as blessings, rolled scrolls, mantras, a juniper, sage, flowers to balance and harmonize things in the earth. We are continuing building a grand gate, a temple, and constantly renovating uh, the statues, the stupas, the walls, the pond, and everything in it. And it's believed that whether or not someone has belief in anything outside of themselves, they are blessed simply by being near this you know, sacred place. Hey Dateline fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on the button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch digital exclusives and original content from the creators of Dateline.